Well, good afternoon to all of you, uh, as many as are left here. Uh, I, I'm one of your own. Uh, I was elected as a Prop 13 baby. I defeated a Democrat. I am a water expert, a member of the United States Supreme Court Bar, and I litigated Prop 13 to find itself to be constitutional. Uh, in the areas of water, I am well known. I have a proposal that looks to identify the need and to provide a, a reaction that would work and would allow for food and fiber and the needs of, of our civilization as we would approach 100 million people. I'm a, th I'm a thinker, I am a person who has been very much involved in the Republican Party. That happened when I ran as a Prop 13 baby, and we won, and I, I defeated a Democrat. As I say, I beat Mr. Costa, nobody else has beat him. It was massive fraud, but we won on that, and then I took on William Jefferson our former <laughs> president, and, and the Clinton gang basically was wrong on everything. They wanted to blow up da dams. They wanted the, in, in the Endangered Species Act to apply such that I, I estimated, and, and it was 20 years before this time when I represented the Central Valley, I said, you know, if those things actually happen, what we will see is half a million hardworking Hispanic people eating out of a can. I hate to say that that has happened, but look at what is happening. Now, thankfully, there are people in the past, Republicans and Democrats, FDR, Herbert Hoover, who said, why don't we go up to the Mississippi and bring that out? This is, this is a reaction and an opportunity that could help make us free as a nation, feed our nation and bring immense amounts of water all the way across the West. I have met, I announced as an Abraham Lincoln Republican for the United States Senate on the 150th anniversary of the murder of the greatest leader, save God, who is Christ, that I think has ever come to this planet. And in the middle of the night at Ford's Theater, I announced remembering that my great-grandfather had raised Abraham Lincoln and planted the Presbyterian Church and built the church in which they worshipped, that maybe the Lord had something happening here that doesn't apply to some of the other candidates. That Lincoln legacy was very important when I ran against Kamala Harris in 2014 and guess what? I lost very narrowly. And you know why I lost? Because I repudiated the American Independent Party's endorsement. And they endorsed a beautiful friend of mine, and I later ran his campaign and helped him do that, Ron Gold. They endorsed him not knowing that he was Jewish because they were entirely anti-Semitic. And I don't understand why one of our candidates, who is a former chairman of the Republican Party, why he has accepted that endorsement. I hope he will repudiate it. I did. But let me tell you, two years later, I was in Sacramento remembering Lincoln and having gone to Springfield to reenact a beautiful piece that he put about 150 years before he went to the first of the Lincoln-Douglas debates. I'm not going to get into the depth of that because we don't have too much time. But basically, I came back and I said, I repudiate that. How can I be running as an Abraham Lincoln Republican, reaching out to black ministries, to Hispanics, and I'm the first person ever to hire the granddaughter or a member of the Cesar Chavez family to work for me who said they'd like to see me beat Kamala Harris. The polling that first came out after that said that those people who were chairs of the Republican Party got 1% of the Democrat vote. At that time, I was getting 53% of the Republican vote and 24% of Democrats who said they would consider voting for Phil Wyman. Well, if they knew, as was the case with the black ministries with which I spoke, that I actually lost because I didn't want to become a racist. How can you be an Abraham Lincoln Republican and be a racist? 
And I have to say, Loretta Sanchez, why are any people in our party raising money for her? Do you understand? I want, you know, I could go through all the stuff. I Prop 13, I'm a member of the United States Supreme Court Bar. I helped Ronald Reagan, I, you know, before when he was just Ronald Reagan, I knew him when I was only 12 years old. But I'm telling you that we need to be straight with voters. And you can't accept the endorsement of the American Independent Party if they still have within their cudgel uh, the remembrance of George Wallace and, if you will, David Duke. David Duke, he's horrible, okay? And I'm going to say just, you know, I, I, I've been here. I am the person who can get elected. Uh, I've, uh, but as it relates to the black ministries, I met with a ministry group in Sacramento and told them I'd like to have their support. I had credibility, and they called me this last Easter and said, they said, uh, Senator, we want you to know that we appreciated you honoring Lincoln and also the next day your ancestor who died in the Civil War. And he said, my family and I wanted to tell you something. And I said, well, I hope you're going to be my chairman in the Central Valley. I know you're an independent. He said, no, I changed to Republican. And then he said, yesterday in Del Paso Heights, in Sacramento, with 20 in their family, he said, after we ate, we kept talking about you and being an Abraham Lincoln Republican. And he said, I want to tell you, and I'm the head of these, the director of these 32 ministries. This is in the South Summit. This is in Sacramento. He said and I, I leave this entirely to God. He said all 20 members of our family switched from Democrat to Abraham Lincoln Republicans. That's why I'm in this race, not to win, but to see our party win and to see that the background that we have of somebody as wonderful as Abraham Lincoln who took the bullet and was assassinated. That's why I announced it then, uh, the 150 years, and those are the things I'm running for, 100% NRA voting record. I was the author of Prop 13, went and litigated it before the United States Supreme Court, and it was found constitutional with George Duke Machen. There's nobody else that has served in the legislature that's even running. And, and Loretta Sanchez, as I'm saying, and, and I need to make this, this is very important, probably that's all the time that I have left. Loretta Sanchez, on a, couple of con on, on a couple of press conferences is, has, in a bigoted sense, attacked Vietnamese, Chinese, and Native Americans. That being said, since I think we have some very qualified Republicans who are running here, why are people related to our Republican Party raising money for her? You know, this, I, I testified on favor of the Steinle, I, I testified on, on, in favor of Kate Steinle, with Ted, with all the people in the Senate, and I went and talked to a, many people in the Senate, and I said, I want to be the surprise. I want to be the Republican, the Abraham Lincoln Republican, who brings something back so that if we might be losing the Senate by one vote, even though we may not get the presidential, I would be your new junior senator. God bless you. God bless the United States of America. And, and thank you for all that served. I served as a Vietnam veteran.